So the next topic is about pyrolysis. What is a pyrolysis? Pyrolysis is a thermal decomposition of combustible matter, chemical decomposition of a solid fuel through the action of a heat. Okay. So it is the result or the effect when a burning material or when a material is burned or when the, uh, the combustible material is consumed by the fire, it creates or it will show up the pyrolysis. So there are process of pyrolysis. Okay. Uh, that is an example of the pyrolysis. Ayan, yung charcoal na yun. So that charcoal actually ito, yan makikita nyo yan, yung the effect, effect of the uh, when a material is burned. So here is the process of pyrolysis. The fuel is heated until its temperature reaches its fire point. When the temperature reaches its fire point. When the energy is already consumed, okay, when the energy is already consumed, the fuel, okay, when the fuel is already consumed, it will not already produce vapor. So, it only means that the the material is already consumed. The energy is already consumed. Thus, it will not produce vapor. Again, the vapor is one that is being burned and not the material. Okay. So it only happens when it reaches the fire point. When it reaches already the maximum, when it reaches already the higher fire point, it is the decomposition that takes place. The moisture in the fuel is converted to vapor. The uh, decompos decomposition produces combustible vapors that rise to the surface of the fuel. Free radicals undergo combustion. Combustible vapors are technically termed as free radicals. Okay, this will happen. Okay, so na reach na yung fire point, and then yung process, na consume na yung energy, and while that is being exposed to heat, na produce siya ng vapor. So what will happen if these are already consumed? When it already continue to reach its ignition point, when it continue to reach the fire point, and when all the vapor are burned, what do we expect now? Or what will now be the result? Okay. The result would be, appears to be like a charcoal. So here is another example of pyrolysis. Chemical process whereby fire consumes the most solid part of the fuel. Okay, so here is an example of this is let's for example this is a wood that contained with fuel. When the a wood is um, exposed to heat, when there is already fire, consumes the vapor. And when the wood already uh, no vapor is no longer uh, when the wood does no longer produces uh, to produce a vapor, it becomes like a char or it becomes charcoal because vapor is already consumed. You know, whereby fire consumes the most solid part of the fuel. Wala na, wala nang vapor. No more vapor from the wood. Okay, it's just because the fuel is already consume as we mentioned that is a reaction of exothermic 
when one thing is exposed to heat release and releases energy there is a possibility that they will that 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 thing will no longer produce a vapor so what are the stages of burning the first the first stage is the incipient phase it is the beginning stage of fire okay it includes the uh, preparation and includes when a time that you uh, started to produce a spark or ignition. The characteristics of incipient phase are the following. Normal, it begins with the normal room temperature or no, normal temperature. That's not necessarily na sa loob. Okay? Nang uh, kwarto, sa loob ng glass. No. What it, does it mean that it has, you begin with the normal temperature? So what are you going to do? You have to make something way you know, how to uh, produce a uh, that may cause to increase the ignition point or the increase the temperature. Another is when the oxygen is plentiful. Okay, of course. Let's for example, you are outside the room. Okay, if I ask if oxygen already up there. Okay, then thermal updraft rise accumulates a higher point when there is a possibility that you can produce and can you you can increase the temperature and flame temperature of 1000 degree Fahrenheit. Oh, wala. Mataas yun. Then producing pyrolysis products, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, water vapor, and other gases. That would be now the uh, result, the effect. Nagkakaroon na siya ng uh, how you produce pyrolysis. Kung mataas masyado yung temperature, like for example that it was mentioned, 1000 degree Fahrenheit. That at 38 degree, fa a degree Celsius is equivalent of 98 degree Fahrenheit. How much more if it is already in it, when it reaches the 1000 degree Fahrenheit? There is enough oxygen to support the combustion and the ignition point reaches to fire point. Of course, what we expect and what you can see is the result now of the combustion where the burning material is turning now into a Pyro, a product of pyrolysis. Another stage of burning is the free burning phase. Materials or structures are burning in the presence of adequate oxygen supply. Okay, now, what are the characteristics? Fire has involved more fuel. Oxygen supply is depleted. Heat accumulates at upper area. Temperature exceeds more than what is mentioned in the incipient page, stage. 1,000 degree Fahrenheit will now become 1,300 degrees degree Fahrenheit. And area is fully involved. So, ibig sabihin, ito na yung one. Yung kinuha. Let's say, for example, doon sa incipient phase, ang sinunog mo lang ay yung wood. Yung piece of wood na linagay mo doon. And then the free burning phase, when it's just already consumed the other objects, okay? Siyempre, nag-start pa lang yung apoy from 1,000 degree Fahrenheit. When it already reaches the sufficient degree of a flash point, so mag-increase yung temperature. So what do we expect or what do we find in cases that there is already increasing of temperature and this stage of free burning phase, actually the objects nearby where the fire originated are already affected or consumed. When these are already objects are consumed, and that is already a stage of free burning. Pag nakuha, pag yung apoy, where the fire originated, dito siya, kasama yung katabi ng where the fire is. Originated. Oh, by the way, it uh, I can only speak and explain 
in uh, the language that we are using right now because it is hard to explain it in Tagalog because there are technical terms that it's hard to translate it in Tagalog. Okay? So bear with me. All I want you is to, to do is to uh, bring with you your dictionary or you can make use of these sources for you to understand and as well as to read, analyze, uh, you do analyze, read, analyze, compare, and as well as evaluate. This is also a preparation for you, okay? When you will take the board examination because the questions in the board examinations are translated in English, okay? So this will become your training as the, uh, will become your foundation in your training, okay? So that you will not be, uh, or you can, you are, you will be prepared at the end of this course, at the end of your program, you are now already prepared, not only for the board examination purposes, but also for your uh, chosen uh, field. Okay. And the next stage is this smoldering mode. Ito na yung nangyayari na kung saan the fuel, fuel are already, fuels are already consumed. Burning stage wherein flame ceases but then smoke and heat completely fill the confined room. Okay, so what we can only see is there is no fire, but what we see is the light and as well as the heat. Because there is no more flame or the flame is ceasing. Nawawala na yung flame. So what we only what we can only see is the light as well as the smoke. Okay, as well as this one. It is represented by the fire triangle when three sides representing fuel, temperature, and oxygen. Now, what are the characteristics of this smoldering, smoldering mode? Flames may die and leave only glowing embers or superheated fuel under the pressure with little oxygen. Okay. Intense heat will vaporize lighter fuel components such as hydrogen, methane increasing the hazard and temperature throughout the building is very high and normal breathing is not possible because what it only produces is the heat as well as the light. Accompanied pa siya ng smoke. So in, when these are already confined in a, a, a closed room, of course, nasusupersede na niya yung fresh air. So what do we expect when you enter that closed door full of smoke caused by this pyrolysis or caused by this smoldering mode? Then you will all the um, there is no longer or you cannot already breathe as normal as you when you are outside. So there is a oxygen deficiency. And when there is oxygen deficiency, yeah. There is a possibility when you open that closed door and here comes now too much air or sufficient uh, oxygen to support combustion, there is a possibility that will explode. Remember, there are still uh, objects inside that closed door. Okay? Kaya pag minsan namubot, nabibitak na rin naman yung walls ng mga, uh, yung cement. Yung cement doon sa loob ng room. Okay? So here are the effects of composition products to the human body. Smoke, it causes or the effect irritates the respiratory tract. Of course, since it is hard for you, it, you cannot breathe fresh air. Thus, it, there is an effect to your um, respiratory. It may also... Um, difficult for you to breathe because what you are now breathing is no longer the uh, the fresh air but the effect of the smoke 
Another also, it will when you are exposed to smoke or when you are contained in one area with full smoke, there is a possibility that your respiratory tract will be damaged. Another also is there will be abnormally stimulated stair glands and as well as impaired vision because it may also irritate your eyes. And when you are exposed to, that, to this smoke, your vision will be impaired. And there will be a causes excessive sneezing and coughing because it is no longer the oxygen that we, um, uh, it's no longer the air, the, the fresh air is what we are breathing, it's, it's what we are breathing, but it is the smoke. Uh, we have already experienced the bang, nagkakarantay sneezing or even coughing. And the fire gases may also cause death by inspection because of the carbon monoxide. And it also causes swelling of lungs that caused by the carbon dioxide. Let us find out the distinction between carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Um, here, take a look at this. The carbon dioxide in terms of flammability, carbon, mon carbon dioxide is more is not flammable than the carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is more flammable than the carbon dioxide. Okay, so carbon monoxide, uh, carbon dioxide is detectable because it can smell at very high concentrations, while carbon monoxide cannot be smell, smelled or can be seen. So in terms of, danger, of the, uh, how dangerous it is, carbon dioxide only when it replaces almost all oxygen. So it takes time before the uh, carbon dioxide will become uh, or it may cause irritation to the respiratory tract or it may cause a person to death. While carbon monoxide is toxic to almost all fire to over 50 parts per million. So, ang pinaka dangerous dyan talaga is carbon monoxide. So, both are colorless and at high concentration, both can still be Deadly. However, carbon monoxide yung mas dangerous. So carbon when there is not um, carbon when there is not enough combustion. Okay? When there is not enough combustion. 